Mark Goodman was cool. Remember Mark Goodman from MTV? He was cool, wasn't he? Mark Goodman. Mark Goodman, he was cool. He was on MTV. And remember, he used to host the MTV Top 20 Video Countdown. Remember that? Remember when MTV used to have a Top 20 Countdown every Friday night? And they, they, they showed it again. They would rerun it on Saturday afternoons. But they always showed uh, a Top 20 Countdown each Friday night on MTV. And this was like... This was like... Uh, back in the 80s and and like in the I remember in the mid 80s it was hosted by Mark Goodman one of their original five VJs and he was cool but nowadays I mean whatever happened to Mark Goodman you never hear anything about Mark Goodman anymore Mark Mark Goodman Mark where are you where are you, Mark Goodman? Are you, um... Where are you? Are you... Are you hiding somewhere in here? Mark! Come back! Come back! I haven't seen you since 1987, Mark! Come back! Where are you? I, I miss you, Mark Goodman. <laughs> Mark Goodman. He was cool. That's right. You know who? You know who? Uh, Mark Goodman. Uh, how I, I always. Yeah, you know who he kind of looked like. I always used to think that Mark Goodman sort of looked like Epstein. Ripper Epstein from Welcome Back, Cotter. That's who I always thought he looked like. <laughs> Remember him? He was cool. Too. He was cool. Epstein. He looked like Mark Goodman, and he was cool. But anyway, that was uh, the top 20 video countdown. And I could never figure out just how they got their goofy rankings on the top 20 video countdown. You know, they didn't bear any relationship to any other ranking. Like, you, you would see, like, on Casey Kasem or anything like that. Or even Solid Gold or anything like that. But I remember... I remember that U2 song that was number one for, like, six weeks on their Top 20 Video Countdown. But I remember... And I remember, wasn't there one time Mark Goodman... Mark Goodman would pick up, like, a record album... And he would go like this. You know how like if you like a real flimsy like a, a record album, like if it was on really flimsy vinyl, how you could take it and go and shake it like that. And he was I think there was one episode where he was doing that. <laughs> but I would not recommend it because if you do that, the record may break. So I wouldn't recommend it. But um, so if you if you do if if you do something like that, make sure it's with one of your parents' old albums. Make don't make sure it's not with a with a, with a good record. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm getting all kinds of email here. But um. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's, I remember Mark Goodman and I remember, what, what was some other thing? I remember he was replaced, wasn't he replaced by Adam Curry? Or there might have been somebody in between there. I mean, after Mark Goodman left, there might have been somebody else who came along before Adam Curry was on there. I didn't, I didn't watch it regularly during, um, I don't think I, I mean, I remember, I remember I used to, I used to watch it every Friday night back at the Mark Goodman era, but, but I don't think I ever watch it anymore in the Adam Curry era. But I remember, uh, what was some other weird things in that show? Oh, and another funny thing about that show was how they had like the, like it, it, for 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 a while, they had like the the promo for it with George Washington, 
I think it was I think it was George Washington and they had like a, a picture like a, a still picture of uh, George Washington and uh, Albert Einstein and I think Gandhi also they had Gandhi also I think it was Gandhi, uh, Gandhi and Einstein and George Washington together like this animated picture of them like a just like almost like a computer generated picture of them walking around like and they were like attached to each other remember that it was George Washington and Einstein and Gandhi and maybe some of the other presidents too in addition to Washington <laughs> but it was um and they were like attached to each other it's like they were like this three-headed hot <laughs> this they're like this three-headed being that and and they, and they would like walk around like they were like walking through a city and I think they even walked into like a bar or a restaurant or something that was like the promo for the top 20 video countdown remember that and they had like this goofy music bed that went like mm, mm, beep, beep. Mm, mm, Like George Washington and uh, yeah, it was those 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 three famous individuals like attached to each other. They were like they were like, and I think it was really just their heads. I don't really know if they if they had their bodies on. I think well, I think there's one scene of them. They were like dancing. They had like their bodies, but they were like going into a restaurant or a bar, and their heads were attached. Remember how goofy that was. <laughs> Right around the same time, I remember there was a commercial for Bubble Yum. They had a, a drawing of George Washington bubbling. There was, and I only said I only seen it like I only saw that commercial like once or twice because it was ridiculous. But um, so, but I remember early on, like when they first started the Top Twenty countdown, I remember they had like this. A drawing of like the rocket. It was like you know how I remember MTV used to use a rocket. Well, this had like a cartoon of the rocket coming up. I remember that was like. I wish I could remember. I I remember seeing like the very first episode of it. I don't remember what number one was. I think it might have been. I think it was either Footloose or Against All Odds. It was one or the other. But that was um. So it would have been like in this probably the spring of 1984. I remember seeing it then. So I would have been like in, I know I was in fifth grade. So that was, that, I know it was like right around the same time we had that class play in fifth grade where the teacher said that the, told that kid, you made a real spectacle of yourself. It was like right around that same time. It was right around, right, probably like within like a few weeks of each other. So it was like early 1984. So, so that's the that's the story of the MTV Top 20 Video Countdown, hosted by Mark Goodman, the Epstein Lookalike. <laughs>